Vrindavan. Parahoy, Brajabhumi Vas. If you if you if you actually understand Mayapur as a transcendental place, then you'll see this land is not different from Brajabhumi, from Vrindavan itself, and it is all Chintamani. So we're very, very fortunate to have this opportunity to go Parikrama. We're going to speak that this process actually at Mani Vedanam, of course that is the most elevated kind of devotion of service. We begin with hearing and chanting. Of course that is the roots of our bhakti. But here unto tweet this is at Mani Vedanam, full surrender. And we are shown that process of full surrender. We have our examples like Bali Maharaj who surrendered the whole universe to Lord Vamanade. And also we're given the example that Queen Rukmini, Rukmini, she also shows Atmani Vedana because she's ready to give up her life for the service of Lord Krishna. So this is a mode of Atmani Vedana to give everything, to sacrifice your whole life for the service of Lord Krishna. So we're so happy that all of you have come to join us on the Parikrama and we're looking forward to have all of your association. And remember, we're doing this Parikrama to, get, to please Lord Krishna and to please Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada, and our own beloved founder Acharya, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, that they want us to develop this parikrama. So we are performing this parikrama for their pleasure. And if we make them happy, then the whole world will become happy. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, in our lives, we have to see that we are very happy. Hare Krishna.
want to mission the Pali. You may be lucky and get in Abdasha. Lord Nishimi Dev Ki Ki Dev. No, 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 no. So we're going to have first of all a speaker. And then we'll have the drama. No. Hey, are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming? Are you coming? Mike, it is Kenya Ben. So usually every year we would have his holiness Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj here. He like very much to come here and speak about what the string is in. But in his absence, I've asked his holiness Bhakti Ratnakar Ambarish Maharaj. He is a disciple of the soul and the foreposition of God's mountain, my rat, and he will deputize in the place of his dear spiritual minister. And we're also expecting, supposed to have, a visit from his holiness back to the show some morning. We hope. Huh? Already came. Oh, my rat already came. Alright, so first we'll hear from Bhakti Ratnakar Swami Maharaj about the first time of Lord Nishingari. And all your assistance in the drama. So now, we're very glad to welcome His Holiness Bhakti Purushottam Swami Maharaj here. Writing a book on Lord Nishin, right? Already out. Oh, already out. Oh, nice. Last year we were hearing wonderful things we'd never heard before about Lord Nishin. And Maharaj promised that he would publish a book soon. So very glad to see he's also kept his word. He's done it. Now he will speak to us. Thank you. Swami Maharaj. So, uh, His Holiness, Dear Zamdar Maharaj, will give an address. Thank you, Dear Zamdar Swami Maharaj. Okay, so, over here we have the Mundakini, right? Mundakini. Water is clean and refreshing. Any of you like to take a bath there? Midday bath, you're welcome. It's a good time. The water is nice and fresh. And we would regularly be there. If you want to take a bath, you can go ahead. Uh, it's not in the form of a river now, it's just a lake here. Nowadays, just a lake is here. But there is a Nishina Lake with the Mundakini. And on the far side, on the other side of the lake, that is Devapali. That's where the Devi gods were all residing. Lord Nishringadev came here to rest after fighting with Haranyakashipu. Came here to rest, and the Devi gods all came and waited for him. So Devapali is over there on the far side of the Mundakini. And you can see the bricks and the remains from when the Devi gods were living there in the Satya Yuga. Alright? Going to go on now. Okay. Yeah, from here we're walking to the camp where our camp is, Prabhupada Nagar. And it's near to Hari Harshetra. Hari Harshetra will go tomorrow, right? Tomorrow morning, course stop Hari Harshetra. But from here we're walking to the camp. So, maybe some people going back to Mayapur, you might want to go back from here. Oh, go to the camp, sorry. First take Prasada. Yeah, come to the camp, a Prasada, and then from there, then the Vibhati is this, to take people back to Mayapur. Alright? Okay. Okay. Wrong? Well? How many miles? How far is it? Three and a half kilometers. 
Right there in the Holy Dom, it's a spiritual world, right? No. It's no time, beyond time and space. If you're in the Kirtan of the Holy Name, you won't notice the time goes just insignificant. So stay in the Kirtan. Get with the Kirtan party. Then, then you forget about time and you forget about the heat. It transcends the body. This evening we'll have, we'll have program. We'll have questions and answers. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay, so from 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock, Kavi Chandra Swami is giving lecture, and then there will be RT, and after RT, then question and answer. Anybody likes to write down some questions on a little piece of paper? Can give you questions. And Kavi Chandra Swami will be there, maybe Ambarish Maharaj will be there, I don't know who will be there. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be here. I'll be there. Well, I'll try to answer your questions. It's a nice opportunity, and if you have any questions about the Parikrama, or the holy places we're visiting, or even your Bhakti Yoga, you can put your question in a paper, write it down, and, and give it to us tonight. Look like the papers tonight, and we'll be giving the answer. Alright, so we'll be going to the camp. You can take five there at the camp, then we'll have lunch. You can go back to Mayapur if you want to miss out on everything. Go back to Mayapur. But if you want to stay for the program, stay in the camp. Stay out. Enjoy the holy dawn. Hare Krishna. Well, everyone, if you can sit down, we'll have a number of speakers here. Yep, we welcome all the devotees. This is our first stop for the international party. This is Zuvana Bihar. <laughs> This temple was established by His Divine Grace Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada. The temple has been here a long time. We'll have a drama here also. We'll have a drama? Yeah. Hey, Sando, Mike. Yeah, usually we have drama here. Hare Krishna. Okay, no, my okay. Hare Krishna, welcome everyone. Hare Krishna. Uh, having a very nice cool morning. Very lucky. Makes it very easy for Parikrama. Parikrama. Not very hot. Not cold. Perfect weather for Parikrama. Very lucky, very fortunate. So we have a number of speakers. We'll introduce them to you, different devotees. It's an opportunity coming here on the Parikrama. You can hear from a number of different sannyasis. We were very fortunate. We had the Guru Puja led for us by His Holiness dear Dhamadar Swami Maharaj. He was shouting at you, get up! Get up and dance! <laughs> yes. So, in the future, when Maharaj leaves the Kirtan, you know, get up and dance! Be ready to dance! Because he has a lot of energy and his Kirtan is very inspiring and fusing. So we're very fortunate to have him. We'll be hearing from him also later today. We have a number of speakers. First of all, here. Uh, okay. First of all, we'll introduce to you a new sannyasi, but a very familiar face. Very familiar face. Uh, we knew him before as Sankarshan Nitai Das Brahmachari. 
from Mayapur. And he was one of the main organizers for the Parikrama. He was making sure everything was going on. He was organizing many people, many devotees, and arranging the camps and the prasadam and so many things are involved, moving the luggage and the camps and so on. So, I think it was Radhastami who took sannyas, wasn't it? Yeah. On Radhastami, which was a day, I think Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj also took sannyas on Radhastami. So Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj, he's a disciple of His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj. <laughs> and through Jai Pataka Swami Maharaj, who will be speaking to us, here we have a, a, a recording, he's going to speak to us on this place. We'll be hearing from Jatataka Maharaj. But we're going to hear first of all from His Holiness Pra Bhakti Prachar Paribrajak Maharaj. Oh, Russian translation 9-0. Hindi Anubhat 9-7. So if you got the name, His Holiness Bhakti Prachat Paripraja, Swami Maharaj. Thank you very much. Bhakti Prachar Prachaga Prachar Pari Praja Pari Praja Bhakti Prachar Pari Praja Maharaj. So he's living up to him by doing very nice Prachar. So now the next speaker we will hear from His Holiness Prabodhananda Swami Maharaj. We're very fortunate to have him with us. Usually he's in Vrindavan, in, around Delhi, in these areas. But he's Prabodhananda, you know Prabodhananda? He was uh, the uncle of Gopal Bhatta Goswami, and he was also a great devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was very scholarly, very poetic. So Prabodhananda Maharaj is also a very wonderful devotee. He's very rich in Gyan and Vairag. And he's going to tell us about the glories of Navadvitam. Thank you, Prabodhananda Swami Maharaj. Next speaker, we have one of us, a godbrother, Srila Prabhupada's disciple, who is with us, coming from the UK, Sri Bangananda Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama 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 Hare. So some copies of this Ekachaka book are available. I don't know how many million rupees they are, but you'll find her somewhere. Thank you, Maharaj. We were hoping to hear from His Holiness Jaipataka Swami Maharaj about the glories of this place, but unfortunately he's in a meeting. So anyway, I'll just give you a brief introduction about what happened, and then we'll see the drama. Yeah. One drama is worth a thousand words. Yeah. Anyway, I don't have a thousand words, but... Uh, this place, Suvana Vihar. Suvana means gold, Vihar, roaming or moving. So there was a great king in the Satya Yuga named Suvarna Sain. And he was very wealthy and very attached to his wealth. He was living here and he was very old. He got really ages. You think I'm old, you should have seen him. <laughs> anyway, and he's hanging on and he's still trying to enjoy the material life. Still trying to enjoy the material world. And so Narada Muni happened to come and he visited him and he was able to enlighten him. 
and he told them about how in the future Lord Garanga is going to come here. So he was very attractive and he lamented, he thought, oh, how will I ever see Goranga? How will I ever see Goranga? Anyway, it happened that in the future, Suvarna Singh, he became Bodhimanta Khan in Chaitanya Leela. And as Bodhimanta Khan, he performed nice service for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, yeah, Maharaj is pointing out the relics here uh, at the Archaeological Survey of India. They've discovered some different stones here which date back to the Satya Yuga and uh, their relics for this, uh, this place. To, just to prove the authenticity behind this place, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati was just moving around on Parikrama maybe and he came here and he saw this place and he could immediately understand that this was a very special place. And he told the devotees that this is the residence of Subhanna Singh. And so at that time it was just like a jungle and there were tigers moving around and different wild animals. It was not a very uh, inviting place, but Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati somehow he had that vision and then they, the devotees, they met with the landowner and the landowner was surprised that they wanted to get land here in this place because it was just jungle and uninhabited. But Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada wanted it and he established this temple and he knew that in the future there will be more and more parikramas and people coming to visit and see this holy place. So we're going to hear now from Pancharatna Prabhu and his cast. They're going to present to us the Leela of Subhanna Sayyidina. walk to breakfast about half an hour. <laughs> 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 Ah, full 
of life, full of energy, able to enjoy. Oh! Happy birthday to you! You see, you see, how the life of a king. Ah. So much in this world to enjoy, especially when you have the karma, as I do. <laughs> ah, so, so much good food. <laughs> yes, you can see it. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm exercising. Keeping fit. So at night, oh, I'm out Krishna. Ah, thank you so much. I really do feel that I have so many more years to enjoy in this world. Oh, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Narada Muni has come. <laughs> I know, I might think. No, 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 My dear king. Oh, you graced our palace, graced our kingdom. Yes. And you'll bless me, I think, to live yes. long, even more. And it seems, my dear king, that you are really bewildered by the flowery words of the Vedas. <laughs> They've served me well. <laughs> and you've just done all these yajyas. Yes. And all for material wealth. The Suvarna, we know that yes. gold. Yes. You have so much gold. You have a big family. I don't know how many wives. <laughs> <laughs> you are, that's not your, your now. <laughs> you haven't understood. This is all temporary. Jorlapa wow. Manava, Janama, you know, this, this Human birth is not meant for that. It come, it's going to be finished any minute. But I have performed so many pious activities. My next life will also be wonderful. Same thing again. It, 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 and you don't know because we don't know what kind of impious activities, even from previous lives, may be coming up. So you should, you know, the only real pleasure is in spiritual. These things you're after, they're all temporary. How many things have you seen come and go so far? Think about yes, it. Yeah, that's, Wake up. that's Wake true. Up. I'm not quite the young man I was. You can't, you know, you can't do the things you used to do. And I try. <laughs> you want to try, and then you'll be frustrated. You there's would. birth, there's death, and in between there's disease and old age. That's all. Unless you take the Krishna consciousness. Krishna. Krishna. You should know Krishna. Krishna. Yes, I... We worship Krishna. We worship Krishna. So but for? that is part of our Vedic system. We worship the deities and we distribute in charity. We, we live the dharmic life and then we enjoy. Yes, it's very nice. But it's all temporary. If you're not getting it, you don't know, you have to taste the highest pleasure. We try to teach everybody. I'm traveling throughout so many years. Yes, Krishna is coming and incarnating again and again yes, in all yes. different ages. Yes. He's trying to show us. Like, is some form of your Lord. How can we pacify him? How can we pacify him? He is so, you, 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 you are the pious of Vishnu. You can pacify him. No, no, not me. He's so angry. I don't even oh. recognize him as my lord. Oh. I'm just too afraid. I Who? cannot approach him. Who can? Who can? Not a lot. A lot. You can stop and save you. Please, I'll no. survive. No. I'm just no. kidding, guys. Please, no. be Ratna 